Hey guys, it is Mike. Um, I am still sitting in a hotel room in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, this is the this was the first day of my conference I have to get through tomorrow, um, and then I'll get to head home. But while I'm here, I'm gonna do another movie review. Uh, I did not get to do the slashback challenge this week, so I still wanted to talk about the movie that I watched, and that movie is the 1981 movie called Just Before Dawn. This is a Code Red release. Uh, if you go on their website, you can probably still pick this one up. Um, it's got a great slip cover. Uh, the art's pretty much pretty much the same um, on both, but really nice. Uh, so this movie was a trip. Um, this movie was made like I said, back in 1981, so about the same time as the Friday the 13th and Halloween and Burning and you know, all of these movies. Uh, so there are some similarities in these movies, but there, you know, there are some differences as well. Um, as you can tell by the cover, this is about five friends who uh, go out camping. Um, actually, they're camping because this guy right here, his name is Warren in the movie. He uh, inherits some land up in the wilderness, so he gets all his friends uh, to go along. So we have Daniel, he's a photographer, kind of a geeky little guy. Then we have Jonathan, um, he's kind of the comic guy, but he's kind of a stud at the same time. And then we have Megan, she's a pretty little redhead. And then Warren, and then his girlfriend, Constance. Um, and so he finds out he inherits this land, and so he gets all his friends in this big old RV, and they head on up to this new land. Uh, in the meantime, um, we meet Ty. Um, and let me go ahead and name off who some of these people are. So um, it, the main stars of this movie... Uh, for the time, I'm going to go ahead and say it was George Kennedy. Uh, he was He's really the only one I, I knew in the cast except for um, this guy, and his name is Greg Henry. Uh, and he, uh, Greg Henry has actually done quite a bit. Um, he's, he's a pretty decent uh, actor. And some of the other ones have done um, things as well. But George Kennedy plays Roy. He's a ranger. Um, in the mountains where this area close to where this area is and then we have Mike Kellen who actually was in um, sleepaway camp uh, he's, he was kind of a weirdo in sleepaway camp too but um, in this one he plays Ty and Ty's a little bit of a drunk but at the beginning of the movie um, Ty and his friend are looking at this this cabin uh, church, whatever, uh, it's a building, um, and trying to decide what they could do with it, uh, and then they start hearing these weird noises coming from outside, so Ty decides he's going to go check it out, so while he's roaming around uh, out in the, the area in front, uh, this big, huge dude shows up in the building and kills his friend, and then comes out after him, so Ty takes off. Uh, we later run into Ty when he tries to warn the kids about what's going going on in the woods and why they should not go up there, as does Roy. All right, so the kids are Warren, played by Greg Henry, and then we have Constance, who is the blonde girlfriend. She is played by Deborah Benson. We have Jonathan, who actually got higher billing than pretty much everybody except for uh, George. Um, Kennedy. Uh, so his name is Chris Lemon. Um, so I don't know if he's related to the acting Lemon family. Uh, but he did go on to do quite a few things. Uh, then Daniel was played by Ralph Seymour. And the redhead um, Megan was played by um, Jamie Ro Rose. So this movie runs about 91 minutes long, just a little bit, bit more background, and was directed by Jeff Lieberman. So I'm not going to spoil 
this one as much as I did bug uh, the other day. I'm just going to tell you that these kids um, run into this girl as they're figuring out where they're going. You know, they have to park their RV and they set up a camp and then they go kind of look and it's a really beautiful, lush, green area with waterfalls and um, streams and lakes. It's really pretty. Um, but um, they run into this girl just out in the middle of the woods and they try to get her attention, uh, but she runs away from them. But she kind of gets a little bit of a crush on Jonathan. Um, and she has a very bad family. The mom and dad are okay, um, but it's the boys that are not so good. Um, and that's pretty much all I'm going to say. Uh, but basically, uh, these kids, they don't realize the danger they're in. And by the time they figure it out, it's, you know, it's too late for quite a few of them. But a lot of fun. Um, the, uh, the characters, uh, the killer is huge and freaky. Um, and there's a little twist at the end. Um, so, yeah, the, the way that um, things are handled... With the uh, with the bad guy at the end, ooh, creepy! I would have never imagined this kind of kill. So very different. But I don't want to give too much away. Um, but if you enjoy camp horror, uh, if you enjoy that kind of um, spooky, eerie feeling that you get from camp horror movies, this will be right up your alley. Uh, there, like I said, there's there are not a huge amount of characters like in in some of um, the camping movies, Sleepaway Camp, that sort of stuff. So it's not like you're trying to uh, keep track of a bunch of people, just five. And uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. And once again, if you go to Code Red, um, it's just CodeRed.com. They have quite a few things on their website. But it does come with this uh, awesome slipcover, which I know lots of people love. Uh, I like them too, but if, if I get a movie without it, I don't care. But that is my review for uh, Just Before Dawn. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you later.